what's Grand Bahama like? And, you know, how does it compare, you know, to the U.S.? Sure. So NASA is that, you know, hyped up tourism, lots of nightlife and, and, and noise, if you can say Freeport's industrial. And, and I think we have about 35,000 people here. So it's, it's, it's quieter. Um, and I think it's really a perfect place to come for medical study. I, I like to say, I like to talk about like the Goldilocks principle in that it's just right. Um, for medical education, you need to be focused and you need that balance between isolation and a distraction-free environment, which will allow you to study and focus. Um, but Freeport also sort of allows that. You get just the right amount of isolation, just the amount of attractions, like if you're into water sports or doing some of the beach activities, um, and just the right amount of amenities. I mean, we have to remember we're we're 80 miles off the coast of Florida. So it feels very Floridian or very Caroline, uh, Carolinian in, in nature and, and very comfortable. I've found everything that I need here um, in Freeport as far as grocery, um, food choices, other food options, um, and, and other type of amenities like that. There you go. There's um, images of of one of the grocery stores here, Solomon. So you can see this is just like any any other grocery that you would see in the United States. Um, lots of offerings of organic <laughs> organic products, and you know they've got almond milk here and oat milk and all the rest of it that you can find, and and all the different products. And this is just one of the grocery stores. There's some specialty shops and and other things um, that we've seen. I've been surprised by the amount of, um, let's say, you know, fast food chains or North American food. It's been funny. You've seen Wendy's, Domino's, Pizza Hut, Subway, KFC. And so if, if you're into that kind of um, maybe fast food, comfort food, you'll be able to get that here too.